At their recent dev day, OpenAI has officially announced that ChatGPT has over 100 million weekly active users. This is a massive jump from the 100 million monthly active users they had by the third month after they launched. So today on the podcast, I want to break this down. I did mention this on an earlier podcast, the statistic, but I realized there's a lot more going on here. So I wanted to go and dive a little bit deeper into um, this 100 million count. But before I did, I wanted to give a big shout out to everyone that has invested in the AI box crowd running cam- crowdfunding campaign on Republic. Um, AI box is my no code drag and drop AI app builder and marketplace I'm launching. Um, and I wanted to tell you, I think we have over 220 investors so far, but I wanted to tell you uh, just, you know, five bullet points about why I'm really excited about AI box. The first is that there is a huge market. So the AI market size is $265 million at the beginning of this year, and they're expecting it to reach $1.4 trillion by 2029. But this statistic actually came out a couple of years ago, so I believe this is going to be uh, significantly larger today after everything we've seen over this year when things have really gone crazy. The second reason I'm really excited is hosting this podcast. Um, I've really gained a very high-profile reach. Um, you know, of course, we get people on the AI chat podcast that are CEOs of tons of the top AI companies. You know, we just had Igor on here who this last weekend who raised $100 million um, and for his AI startup. So I think this is a really exciting area where, you know, I'm really able to network with a lot of these high caliber people. Uh, Another thing that I'm excited about is the solid interest we've had in AI box so so far. We have 2,500 corporations and professionals that are currently on our AI box wait list that have just joined the wait list through our platform. If you're interested, it's AIbox.ai. Um, the other thing is really the strong community. We have 3,500 members on the AI box creators groups on Facebook and Discord, um, which we're really, really excited about a solid community. Um, and then, of course, we have some of the top minds that have subscribed to our AI newsletter. It's read by people at Microsoft, Amazon, Salesforce, Cisco. It's kind of cool. You can see who reads it essentially by looking at their email addresses. Um, and then, of course, the last thing I wanted to highlight is this is a really hot industry. There is billion dollar mergers and acquisition activity in the AI space right now. And I think this really helps um, as we have a ton of incredible potential for AI box. If you're interested in investing, I'll put a link in the description or the show notes for you to go and check out that. Uh, The minimum investment is $150. We've had people invest up to $50,000. But without further ado, let's get into the podcast. Welcome to the world's number one AI podcast, AI Chat. I'm your host, Jaden Schaefer. Make sure that you go to AIbox.ai, link in the show notes, to join the waitlist for our new AI platform. We're going to be launching an incredible platform that allows you to build anything you want with workflows um, in AI. So you're able to chain together chat GPT and image generators and audio generators to make really powerful apps for your organization, or you can host them on our marketplace and actually generate royalties from them. So make sure to go to AIbox.ai and join the waitlist for In addition, if you like the podcast, if you could do me a massive favor and please leave us a review on Apple or Spotify or wherever you listen to your podcast. This helps me be able to get better guests on here as they check the reviews to see how you guys are liking it. So if you could please do that, I would really, really appreciate it. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? I record and publish podcasts on a platform called Spotify for Podcasters, and I absolutely love it. Essentially, you can upload from your phone or computer, and it distributes to every platform that plays podcasts. They support video podcasts, and you can make money on the platform with ads or even podcast subscriptions, something that has made my life so much easier as a podcaster. So if you're interested, Interested, I highly recommend you give it a try. You can download the Spotify for Podcast app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started on your podcast today. So the big headline here is that ChatGPT has now reached a staggering 100 million weekly active users. This was recently revealed by their CEO, Sam Altman, at their inaugural developer conference in San Francisco. Um, and this comes right on the heels of ChatGPT's rapid climb to 100 million monthly users within just two months, or I think it was like on the third month after it launched, which of course set a new industry benchmark for user acquisition velocity. A lot of people were making, uh, you know, memes and were sharing pictures showing how long it took like a bunch of different software services to reach 100 million monthly active users. I think it took like seven or eight months for Instagram. And, you know, there's a whole bunch of like the big ones you'd know, and some of them took like years. So ChatGPT, obviously in two or three months, hitting that milestone was really, really big just showed what was possible. 
I think Instagram, on a side note, when they launched Threads, they tried to say that they like beat ChatGPT because Threads got to over 100 million users in like a couple days. But really, it was just um, Instagram users already. So people, that, but it was technically a new app that they had downloaded open. So even though you logged in just with your Instagram account, um, you know, I don't know. So some people argue about who did it faster. But in any case, uh, we now know Instagram's Threads platform. I think it's still there, but it's kind of dead. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of usage. Obviously, ChatGPT uh, has much higher usage, is much more used, and is a lot more popular. So Sam Altman kind of steering the narrative beyond just user metrics. Um, he kind of highlighted the extensive adoption of their platform within the developer ecosystem. More than 2 million developers are actively engaged with the platform. Um, and I think they have a remarkable adoption rate from over 92% of Fortune 500 companies. This is kind of, I think, signaling broad enterprise confidence and open AI's offering. Um, so the conference wasn't just, of course, a victory lap for past successes, but also kind of a stage for unveiling the future direction. So OpenAI took the wraps off of GPT-4 Turbo, um, which is an iteration of G the GPT-4 model that promises enhanced performance coupled with cost efficiency aligning with the organization's push for accessible AI. So really, it's just faster and cheaper, which is great. Um, I think looking at some of the uh, some of the incredible things they have coming down the pipe for creators, OpenAI introduced GPTs. Um, essentially, this it's like this new thing called GPTs, and they're empowering anyone to engineer versions of the conversational AI system. So this they're going to have a new upcoming GPT store. And I think now that they have 100 million weekly users, this is going to be really interesting to see, you know, just how many people are using this. I've recently covered, you know, I think they have over 20 million downloads on their iOS app. It's going to be interesting to see really where this goes in the future. Some people are calling that specific thing, the GPT store, like kind of like the uh, app store for AI. And so I think it's going to be really interesting to see where that specifically um, goes, especially now that they have so many users on mobile as well. I think in a move that kind of expands OpenAI's suite, the company also announced the availability of Dolly 3 um, through an API, which is going to be really cool. Um, and they also have Bing Chat as well, um, which is now integrated into ChatGPT and also works with Dolly. So very, very interesting. There's some cool use cases that are going to be coming through there. So another breakthrough, of course, is the Assistance API, which is designed to essentially... Um, create apps with agent-like experiences. So uh, agents is something we've been talking about for a while, these GPT agents, where essentially it's an a, it's a, you know, a chat bot or it's an AI that its job is to accomplish a specific task. So now with 100 million people a week on chat GPT, all of them are going to have the ability to create and use agents, um, which are, you know, AI models focused on doing something specific. So you could say, hey, your GPT agent, your job is to, you know, create content for my website, do it however you want. It will spin up more agents that are going to be focused on creating new things. It's going to be a very, very fascinating world to see what's happening, especially in light of, you know, 100 million weekly active users. Now, I don't think we can quite say that there is, uh, that there is you know, 400 million monthly active users. I think the reason why they kind of unveiled that number, what that really tells me is, if at the beginning of the year they reached 100 million monthly active users and now they have 100 million weekly active users, it could be like maybe like two, maybe 300 million monthly. But my assumption is um, really what's going on is there's, you know, those 100 million monthly active users, they're just using it every single week. So maybe it's like, you know, 150 million or maybe 200 million monthly. But really, I think it's like the core 100 million are very active on this platform. And I know for myself, I use ChatGPT very, very frequently, almost every, you know, definitely every single work day, sometimes on the weekends. Um, it's on my phone, which I probably use a little bit less, but I think uh, definitely something that's very popular for a lot of people in business. And, you know, as they mentioned, they have 92% of Fortune 500 companies on the platform or using it. And so um, just with that, I think, you know, people are definitely using it for business. So um, I think a lot of these developments really reflect OpenAI's commitment to extending the frontier of AI utility. They're fostering an, like a very solid ecosystem where developers and creators can innovate and potentially profit from the AI evolution. I think as the company continues to roll out these ambitious features, the tech community is poised to witness a significant shift in how AI is integrated in both business operations and creative endeavors. A lot of people are talking about how this is you know, akin to the iPhone being unveiled, all of these new features that have recently been announced for 
uh, ChatGPT, and of course, with 100 million weekly users, these features are going to be very, very used and integrated into virtually every piece of software we use. Um, I don't doubt that this is just the beginning for where we see AI going in the future. Thank you for listening to the AI Chat Podcast. If you enjoyed the podcast, I'd appreciate it if you rate me wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you're looking for an innovative group of AI enthusiasts, make sure you check out our Discord channel and also our Facebook community. It's obviously a lot more interactive than a podcast where we can actually share software tools, prompts that we're using in everyday AI. I'll leave a link for those in the description below. 